Welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone. This is a little trick that I do in my house. I like to burn candles in the evening. Um, and I also like my house to smell really good. So I bought some essential oils off of Amazon. And I put them in my candles. And they it warms up in the candle wax and helps everything smell really good. So try it. This one is lemongrass. I also have eucalyptus. So the now essential oils from Amazon. You can stick them in your candles. It makes your... Your whole place smell wonderful. Oh, doing that now, good, okay. I'm just gonna wait a couple of more minutes um, and let people jump on and then we'll get started. And I'm gonna try to be uh, very, uh, very uh, polite with your time tonight and get this done um, quickly. Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, it's me, Kimberly, with 50 Jewels. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Um, we're gonna uh, have a little tutorial tonight on Periscope, and I wanna be really respectful of your time, so I'm gonna try to do this in really 10 minutes max. And so what I'd like to do is, uh, I'm gonna welcome everyone for the next couple minutes, and then let's save all the questions until the end. And that way I can whip through the really useful information that you guys need and want quickly and then we can answer questions at the end and if you get bored um, with the questions then you can go ahead and pop off okay great so um, just start out I'm Kimberly with 50 Jewels you can find me on my uh, on the web at 50jewels.com I'm, I'm a midlife blogger you can also follow me at Twitter at 50 Jewels Instagram at 50 Jewels and of course here at 50 Jewels so welcome 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 everybody so we're going to talk about three different things tonight. Um, the first one is support, how to support each other. Uh, the second one, we're going to go over um, some equipment that's really, really handy for Periscope. And then the third subject we're going to talk about is actually the scoping process. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And as you have questions, just make a little note of it and we'll kind of address those at the end. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is we're going to talk about support, how to support each other as fellow, fellow scopers and midlife bloggers, if that's what you are as well. So I want you to take the hand that is not holding your phone or your iPad and hold that up in the air and then put out your pointer finger just like that. Okay. Now I want you to tap your screen with that finger. So tap, 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 tap. Come on, keep going. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. That's right. That's how you want to support any of the Periscopers that you're watching because those hearts are the equivalent of a like on Facebook or a favorite on Twitter or a retweet on Twitter. So that's the way that other people who see these scopes or see a scoper, if the scoper has hearts, a lot of hearts behind them, then that means it's significant, interesting, pertinent material that's worth watching. So whenever you're watching someone that you want to scope or that you're enjoying their information, make sure you keep tapping on that. It's really easy to do. It's, um, and then when someone goes and sees this as a replay and there's lots of hearts behind it, they'll know, okay, that's good, useful information. So whenever I'm on um, watching another scoper and anything about it is really working for me, I'm tapping that screen the whole time because that's how you support your fellow scopers. So that's one way you want to do it there. The second way, and I haven't, um, I don't actually do this in my scopes, but you may want to do in yours, is if you look down in the lower right hand corner, there's a little person there. If you tap on that and click share, then this scope gets advertised to all your followers. So that's a neat way to, if you want to bring other people in in a certain community and have them find out about particular information, it's a neat way to make them aware of it. So you can tap on that little person down in the right-hand corner. There'll be a share button that pops up, and then you can click that, and it'll go out to all your followers to come back and follow whatever scope you're on. Okay, thanks for the tapping, guys. It really, really helps. Um, thank you, thank you. Hi, Will. Okay, the next thing we're going to get into right now is some equipment for Periscope that um, is very, very useful. I don't know um, if you've found out this yet, you probably have, but most selfie sticks, the camera holder, 
they have are it's only designed for landscape you can't stick your camera in here onto your selfie stick um, in a portrait mode it, it doesn't work it doesn't expand wide enough and right now periscope is only capable of um, portrait uh, viewing so you need to get a holder that will hold your camera in portrait mode and the good news is is that there's a company called jellyfish jellyfish just like the fish that swim in the sea jellyfish here's packaging for them um, jellyfish offers great equipment and one of the things they have is they have a camera holder that will hold your phone uh, portrait mode and it's super easy it's inexpensive gosh I don't even think it was twelve dollars or something it was very very reasonable so jellyfish has these and they have the little screw on the bottom that you can also add it to your selfie stick or if you have a tripod so it's a super investment for if you're gonna um, really start scoping so jellyfish camera holder another product by jellyfish is they have these little stands see this it's a little stand and so you could actually put that holder that I just showed you onto this stand together and they will hold your camera for you in um, a nice secure um, position. So Jellyfish, um, I think both of these together were maybe $25. So very, very good investment. Um, the other thing that um, I am now using tonight, and you guys let me know how the sound is because this is, I'm using a mic for the first time. I got this mic. Um, can I hold my camera? I don't have a camera right now. Um, this is the mic that I bought. It's by Lavalier, and I think it was maybe $20, maybe, not very much. I'm sorry if I'm ignoring you. We're holding all questions to the end, Fred. Okay, just so I can get through this information quickly. Thank you for being patient. I appreciate it. So the microphone is by Lavalier. Um, go ahead and order that if you like the sound you're hearing. I haven't used it before. How's the sound? Can you throw up some hearts if the sound is good? Anyone? Yes? No? Good sound? Okay. So then you want to get one of these mics. <laughs> Thanks. Um, and use it if you're going to be a periscoper. Okay, so that's the equipment. Um, that I have found really helpful. The jellyfish phone holder, uh, the jellyfish stand, and they'll all go on your selfie stick, and also the mic by Lavalier. All right, so the last thing we're going to talk about tonight, and then I'll take some questions, is the actual Periscope process. And um, this is such a new app. This is really new territory for all of us. So um, I can just share with you what I have done and what's worked for me. The first thing that I try to do when I'm scoping is open up on a scene that isn't me. <laughs> the last thing um, I think people want to see when the scope comes out is my big old face um, on their phone. So if I'm home scoping, I really try to focus in on a little scene like I did when I opened this scope. Something kind of pleasant um, that's interesting to look at and pretty. And it's going to take a few minutes for people to really get on. So, you know, have that scene set up and maybe be doing something or talking about something that is um, more casual during the opening of the scope and let the people come on. And when you get the, the amount of people that you think it's, it's really starting to get enough that you can get the information out there, then you start welcoming people in. Um, making comments, saying hello, that sort of thing. And then you can turn around. The, then I turn the camera around on me and start talking. <laughs> so uh, when I'm out um, doing my Tahoe scopes, I don't know what you guys did today, but what I did was um, I went on a two-hour kayak and then I went on a three-hour hike um, up the Tahoe Rim Trail. So I had a very <laughs> full day today, but I scoped from everywhere. So when I'm scoping out um, in public, not at home, I always open up on a scene that is pleasant and pretty. And I move the camera very slowly and I try to keep it very steady. And I give people time to read what the scope is about and decide if they want to jump on. And um, once they come on, then I'll start welcoming them, um, answering their questions, talking with them. And then I'll turn the scope towards me 
um, and, you know, let them know who I am, visit for a little bit, to let them know how they can connect with me on my other social media um, outlets, and then turn them back to um, the, the scene again. So um, another interesting thing that um, I have found about Periscope, and I don't really understand it, is I can be on a scope um, talking, and about eight or nine minutes into it, all of a sudden I have just a herd of people come on. And I've noticed this several times. This, I think this is my 49th scope, so I, I've had a little bit of experience doing this. And after that eight, you know, seven or eight minute mark, I've just a herd of people start joining in and popping up with the hearts and stuff. And I, I don't know why. I'm wondering if the technology is such that people are in different parts of the country are getting the notifications a little bit later. Welcome, my best friend. Um, and so they don't know that the scope is really live and available, and they come on at that time. So it's an interesting phenomenon. You might wait for it when you're scoping. And then another thing is, is that, you know, if people are generous enough to give you hearts, which is wonderful, hi, um, then I did a silly thing today when I was out on the lake. I was scoping, hearts were coming, they were flowing, 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 and I clicked off because I had been, you know, scoping for a little bit. But I think that was really silly to do. I, you know, when you've got hearts coming, you probably want to, um, you know, keep people, keep them on. And so you can get those counts um, and people could know that what you have to say is something worth watching. So that is um, what I know about Periscope right now. You guys are probably wondering, you have some technical questions and I'm happy to answer them. Does anybody have any questions right now? Hello? I'll give you guys a couple of minutes. How much data do you tend to use in a month while you're scoping out and about? You know, I've been very careful to watch my data. Um, I think I have, uh, I've used about half my data uh, this month, so I'm still underneath it. Um, I, that's something you really want to watch. When I'm home and the Wi-Fi is connected to my phone, I'm not using up my data. But when I'm out, um, it does eat up pretty quick. Do I have to get a stick and mic, or can I just hold my phone? You know, I'm just holding my phone right now because I needed to show you guys the things during this scope. And this is the first time I've used a mic. I've always just talked into the phone before. So the answer is no, you don't. You don't need to get those things. But if you are going to be a fairly um, active scoper, I think that they are um, they are things that are that will make it um, easier for you. Hey, Fred, you're back. I'm taking questions now. Do you have anything for me? Questions, anyone? One thing I, I try not to do is I try never to watch scopes when I'm out and about. I try to only watch them when I get home and I'm on my Wi-Fi at home. So I'm not using up my data plan out and about. Um, scopes stay live for 24 hours, so you have time to go back. And you can still give hearts. Thanks, guys. You can still give hearts um, for scopes on the replays. Good length. You know, I think the shorter the better. This one is getting to be um, kind of long, so we need to wrap it up pretty quick. I think, you know, five to ten minutes max. How do I find people to follow and our hashtags just like Instagram? Hi, Alexandra. I'm. We're not seeing hashtags yet on Periscope. I experienced a problem. Um, we're not seeing hashtags yet on Periscope. The, the app doesn't have um, the functionality for it yet, or I haven't seen it. So um, I don't know if hashtags are really a big thing on Periscope. How you want to find people to follow is if you click on the little three people down in the corner, that will pull up your Twitter list. And everybody who's on Periscope that's on your Twitter friend list will be listed there. So you can go through and add them. And then at the very bottom, there's this thing called, <laughs> this is so funny, most loved. And if you look at these, my necklace, oh, there you go. Um, if you look at the most loved, they're really very funny. There's a couple of gals in there that all they do is just uh, talk like teenagers. <laughs> and yet they have millions and millions of hearts. So how do people know to watch my scopes? Um, you can click on when you start to broadcast, Alexandra. There will be a little bar with icons, four icons on there. And one of them is the little Twitter bird. If you click that bird, every time you're going to scope, it goes to Twitter. Um, it tweets it. So, um, hi, Fred. 
so make sure you click that little bird. And if you click it once, it stays set in that, um, in that position unless you turn it off. So everybody gets a tweet when I'm going to scope. And also, you, in your notifications of your phone, if you go to the Periscope app, you can click on that and turn notifications off and on for when people you're following um, are scoping. So, anyone with any other questions? Good title advice. Thank you. That's such a good question, S. Weber. Um, make them really attractive. Uh, that's important because think about it. When you're looking at the list of live scopes and someone says, you know, Muffy, my cat is eating, or someone says, you know, parasailing over, you know, some gorgeous ocean, which one are you going to watch? So I'm just walking along and decide to start one. Can I just start? Um, yeah, you can just start um, your scopes. Do come up with a good title, though, as um, the last gal asked, or person asked. I'm not sure if it's a girl or a guy. I always start um, my scopes with Lake Tahoe, almost always, because it, it's such a well-known uh, landmark and vacation destination, and it really catches people's attention. I noticed today that when um, I was up on the TRT, the Tahoe Rim Trail, and I titled my scopes Tahoe Rim Trail, um, I didn't get nearly as many people because they, they weren't seeing that Lake Tahoe um, title, which I think, you know, grab a good title. And, I, you know, I noticed the ones that have all the emojis and the exclamation marks and, and that sort of thing. I don't really respond to that. So think about who your market is. It might be more of a generational thing. They might um, like that at a younger age. But with my age, <laughs> I want to see good information. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Does anyone else have any questions for me before I click off here? Thanks for the hearts. That's so sweet. Thanks. I have to go get my kid. Dang it. Okay, Alexander, nice to see you. Call me or um, message me on Twitter or anything if you have any questions. Yeah, I do Twitter, Fred. Yeah, I'm on Twitter at 50 Jules. Oh, thank you. Thank you, S. Weaver. Uh, lots of I have to go. Okay, Alexander, call me this weekend if you want to. Um, I'll message you my phone number. Um, I do live in Tahoe. I live in Incline Village. Lucky me, huh? Okay, thanks, Alexandra. Take care. Nice to see you. Thank you, Stilettos at 60. Hi, nice. So glad you're here. Let's get the midlife women on Periscope and really rock it. Okay, so I'm looking for, I'm looking for a Periscope buddy. If anybody out there wants to be my Periscope buddy. <laughs> So keep that in mind. All right, guys, thanks so much. If you have any other questions, um, go ahead and uh, you can message me on Twitter at 50 Jewels or go to my uh, Facebook page at 50 Jewels or my blog, 50Jewels.com. Oh, you did your first two today. Oh, that's so great. Congratulations. I'm really, really happy for you. That's wonderful. It's really fun. I enjoy it and I um, uh, thank you. I'm so glad you started. Uh, thank you. All right, guys, I want to make this quick. I've gone way too long uh, for any attention span. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful night and a great weekend. Oh, I love the paddling too, Scott. All right, take care. Bye now.